what is desirable in the world? What is feasible in the world? What is valuable in the world? Here at Philadelphia University, we have built a culture of innovation that says, think creatively, act innovatively, and work toward outcomes that create value. If our students leave here changing the world in, in a better way, one invention, one thought, one company at a time, the composite of that will have an influence that really will improve the human condition. Complicated, complex problems are best solved when there's multiple opinions and expertise that comes into them. We call this transdisciplinary. I've collaborated and taught with professors in engineering, in art history, in graphic design, uh, in industrial design. The more diverse the inputs, the more innovative the output. Collaboration amongst all levels, from faculty to students, is increasingly the norm here and permeates everything we do. We want you to collaborate with people in your discipline, but we want you to collaborate with people out of your discipline, and then we want you to collaborate with people way out of your discipline. By working with other students, you're getting them to think beyond themselves. And they're carrying that concept far beyond the classroom. I see huge changes in their ability to deal with conflict, their ability to negotiate. It's not just about making things, it's also about explaining your ideas with a certain level of credibility and getting other people to buy into them. You only can get the soft skills through collaboration and working together. You know, the students are not asking, what do you want me to do? The students ask, what do you want me to do next? Verizon is a university, as far as I'm concerned. We used to call them industry engagement partners. We now call them industry engagement educators. So we're working with Verizon, um, designing a smart home product with gesture recognition called Sous Chef. Sous Chef is about being able to cook and having an assistant without having to touch your devices. Verizon has challenged us to innovate, to take in a real brief, and to collaborate. For a company in Verizon's position, it can never have enough ideas fast enough, and our students get them thinking about things that they haven't already considered. As soon as they get out into the real world, this collaborative interaction, this innovative thought process, the stuff that we taught them, will make them very competitive. We can make the classroom and the education look like the world that people are actually working in. They get jobs from this. Collaboration makes us stronger, and it makes us uh, better off once we go into the industry. We will be prepared to take on any projects. The relationship with Verizon has been fruitful and growing over these years because we see mutual benefit. The improvements we see to lives, both of the students and of the customers of Verizon, I think that's what keeps us going. That's the big game. Leaders can come together and solve big problems. You'll seek other great leaders. The relationship between Philadelphia University and Thomas Jefferson was immediately attractive because of their leader. What you should know about me is that I started out as a disc jockey and ended up going into medicine. I've delivered 1,800 babies. Right before I took this job, I gave a talk, and the guy before me was an economist, and he said, the two things you don't want to be running for the next three years, because they're impossible, are academics and healthcare. And I got up and said, hi, I just took a job at academic healthcare. Steve Clasco has passion that is palpable, and he brings other smart, strong people together. Steve Spinelli and I recognize that academics is moving from a very traditional lecture-oriented model to a partnership between the students and the faculty. We are here because of you. And if you have the passion, that will fuel both your career and our ambition to work with you. The dynamic environment we are in is changing so rapidly that we have to look to the future. Can we combine our strengths to create something new and different 
There's a natural affinity between these institutions. The uh, combination is going to be more than the sum of its parts. Really taking a no limits approach to providing the best education and really providing that value. We can improve each student's life, and by improving their lives, they'll multiply that and improve society. The mission of Philadelphia University is to educate professionals for the next century. We will demonstrate the value of the Nexus learning model. We will creatively disrupt the assumptions that people have had about what it means to learn. What is at stake is the future of work. We will lead the country in creating a new type of workforce that takes advantage of all the energy that our current students have with the wisdom and experience of our faculty and institutions. You will be able to tell a Philadelphia University, Thomas Jefferson University student, because they get it and they can communicate with the world. The future is now. We can create leadership around you as an individual. We can take that passion and we can focus it like a laser beam on a career that will be so fulfilling and give you so many options. You're not gonna wanna stop learning. I want you to get degrees and I want you to keep going and I want you to get certificates and I want you to come back and I want you to be an industry engagement educator. I want this to be a lifelong relationship. We now have the resources, the sophistication, the partnership, the attitude to make that real today. What better place to be?